ten trophy. Right. Nice time to check circles. Yep, it just gives me a point for each tree whenever I level up. That's nice. Oh, that means I get to... Yeah, because these things cost just one each. Not that I'm complaining or anything. Oh, over there they start costing more later, but... Yeah. Um, defense? Defense might be a good idea. But it could go for... Um, worm rush? Sure. Attack. That's... Uh, that's quite a lot of time, isn't it? <laughs> I win this time. Oh, you're first. Hmm. You got me this time. I blame this box, so we... Hmm. Seriously, what was... Uh, what was up with that battle for the Master Key? It's like they designed this dungeon and don't you understand my worst nightmares? Huh? Oh well, I'll get you next time. Hmm, hmm but this room is strange, no? I don't expect to see other players within the dungeon. I guess rooms like this are simply not instanced. Hmm? Anyway, I think we should check out this statue up there. This monster is stood for eons nearly unchanged. The frozen crown shimmering in the sun. Among these heights and harmless you persevered. Wielding the blazing flames you peel through ice and stone alike. You, the traveler, the envoy of change. You have proven yourself worthy. Take this shame and continue your journey. <gasps> Yay! Do I say? Let your every step f form the path of your heart. Hmm. Interesting. Congratulations, Seeker! You reached the first milestone of Operation Trackwalker. With the blue eyes shade, you can now access Maroon Valley to the west of Vega. There in a ways your next destination. Fire Rotten, housing the second element, cold. To proceed, seek an audience with the eldress of the local village, Baki Kun. Take this reward for your accomplishments. Circuit override obtained. The circuit override allows you to reset one of your circuit boards. Visit the first basement floor on the info hub in Rocky Harbor to use it. That is all. Good luck and stay vigilant. Space. So that's the ancients? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Hello. We use status rotating info thingies. I bet those have all the info about the ancients we need. Don't we'll forget about the quiz. Mm. Earth of Tear. It all started when the Orvis, the Ethereal God of Creation, was born into the emptiness of the world. After pondering for eons in solitude, his desire for company gave birth to the gods of shade. The arrow is one of the, these gods, the god of the square and the creator of solid surface. The arrow is the creator of solid surface. His powers could form the most majestic mountains and freeze the vastest of seas. Indeed, his creations are enduring and overwhelming sights to behold. Yet much on this and without life. Life on Shadun has prospered, and the Orbi felt that our kind was ready to start our journey. The arrow, however, did not agree. He still saw our kind as infants crawling over the majestic surface he created. The Orbi then pointed to Shadun and asked the arrow to watch. The arrow saw how our kind climbed the highest of mountains and reached the very bottom of the sea. 
The arrow was shocked yet proud of our achievements. I looked at him. He agreed that indeed we had been ready to start our journey. The arrow then prepared an envelope of solid rock and ice, used to send the message of the sky. Enel is a goddess of shade, the mistress of flame, and creator of the sun. Yet she was envious of her fellow gods, who created fascinating shapes and worlds full of life and color. She longed to take part, adding a warming, fi warming fire to these worlds, yet her flame was too mighty and consumed all of its world. It was then when the arrow had a proposal. He shaped a sphere with an empty core and several holes surrounded by high mountains. Enel filled this shape with her flame, creating a world with a heated core and life on its surface. Today, every volcano is a record of Enel and the arrow working in unity. That's kinda nice. Yeah. Can I just... Um, there we go. I did miss three things and that will bother me for a very long time, but I'll make sure to get them some other time. For now, those rice, that's the answer. I'm fine with going first. Is that okay, Leah? Mm -hmm. Alright then, let's get the others. Hey, Leah. Mm -hmm. I see you are about to take that quest to Yonki Seal, right? Mm -hmm. So, I was thinking, would it not be challenging to answer the question with your cosmic vocabulary? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you forgot about that, huh? Look, it is okay, Leah. You would have found about your speech and malfunctioning sooner or later anyway. Just remember, these kinds of things happen to players. I just hope you will still be able to take the quiz somehow. Mm. Yeah, I, yeah, I did it! I passed! Come on, get up next! Mm. What's wrong? You look really nervous. Don't worry, the quiz is super simple. I'm sure you can do it. Yeah, dear. Now it's your turn. I hope you read all those textile words next to, next to the statue in the temple mine. Today's quiz is all about the god Diar. Don't worry, it will be just four simple questions. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Alright then. First question now. Diar is one of... Yeah, it's one of the gods of shape. Now, what shape did it represent? <laughs> Hi! Uh, um, yes, I love you. Yeah. No, something is wrong here. I sort of noticed it before. Yeah, you can't really speak, can you? Mm-hmm. Oh dear. Is it a speech module malfunction? Mm-hmm. Oh George, I thought they managed to fix those, to fix those issues. I mean, it's sort of weird that you can still still say those few words. Did they had some kind of workaround? Mm-hmm. I 
can't believe it. How did I not notice this before? Yeah, dear, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. But still, there's no reason to cancel the quest. Hmm? Easy, we're just making multiple choice. Yeah, dear, I'm sure you can still come with your fingers, right? Wonderful. Well then, all I have to do is give you four options, eh? Okay, let me think. Here we go. What shape does the arrow represent? Square. Alright then. Next question. The arrow is known as the creator of some circles. So, what exactly did the arrow create? Well done. Still, this time, Emil and the arrow work together. Eh? How did they feel? <coughs> Wonderful volcanoes were also. Green puffs! <laughs> Emil, don't make it too easy for that. Well, I suppose that it's clear that the option B is not correct anymore. Well, then, yeah. Well, we can even get a few together. Ancient achievement. What was it? Did you see this? The trailer of the year, the first of the year, the first the year, the first of 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 the year, All four questions correctly. Just wonderful. Yes, yes, that's all about the air. Oh, wait, I think I have a small bonus question for you. The air is a good of shade representing the square. So, which class has been found to form the air? That would be fairly simple. Hmm. Alright, what are you? Guard is the class of the square. And yes, that's my class. Just like the Iris creature, well, our guards are known for their stamina and endurance. That's why we're the traditional tanks in the party. Well then, it's time to make you and Emily the official members of the first colors. Let's go! Today's my greatest pleasure to announce two new members of the first colors. Emily Neto the Pentafist and Leo the Spheromancer. Let's work together to contribute to our understanding of the ancients. And, you know, just have a good time, eh? Where should we go? It's great to join you guys! <laughs> so, I suppose we'll see each other more often from now on. That's right, so you should join our party already. Well, I'll... I think you still need to catch up to my girl first. Oh, come on! Anybody else, maybe? Most of us are far ahead in letters. Oh, but there is still Tronny. Oh, the other new member? Yes, he hasn't been online the last few days, but he told me he'd show up again tomorrow. I'm sure he'd gladly join your party. Trevia! Well then. Pardon everyone, I really have to log off now. Huh? You know, we just rushed the whole temple line and did that quiz in one session. I'm currently seeing the sun rise and I really should try to get some sleep. Yes, real life is calling. Well then, good night, Emily. And I hope to see you again soon. Of course, no reward, everyone. And yeah, don't forget about the next dungeon. You know how it goes away, no starting without me. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Yeah, dear, do you plan to live out as well? Yes, yes, we should. <laughs> Alright then. I'm sorry about your speech when you did show the But I want you to know this doesn't really matter to us. We're a member of the first cover, so you're always welcome. If you have any problems whatsoever, we're here to help. 
that's right. I'm sure things will work out just fine. Uh -huh. Bye. 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 Ciao. I'm honestly relieved. You are lucky to have found such a nice guild. Uh -huh. Well then, I love you out now. Good night, Leah. Uh -huh. Um, did Leo just talk to somebody? <laughs> More memories! Yeah, strange ideas are fine. Pretty, pretty fun. Hmm. So I get a feeling like kind of mixing up. Reality and, uh, and you know, fantasy or whatever. Good morning, Leah. <gasps> Doing fine? Mm -hmm. So, I was wondering, do you see anything when you're flying? Mm -hmm. You know, like dreams. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you see anything new that did not happen recently? Mm -hmm. Hey, tell me, is your memory really is returning? So, is there anything you, that you clearly remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sure it will take some time. But it is good to know we are making progress. Oh, by the way, I managed to add a couple new words. <gasps> Alright, time for word count plus plus. New word that. Why? How? How? Why? Why? So yes, I am working on adding all those question words. Why? Well, because you asked basic questions that way, correct? Why? Because you need question words to ask questions? <laughs> Why? I regret having this word already. <laughs> anyway, your next destination is Maroon Valley. You get there by going west from Berlin. Unfortunately, it seems that Emily is suffering at the moment. I'm sure she will show up sooner or later. A new one minus that's here. There's a map, I guess. Yeah, I can probably just check contacts or something. Hi. Good morning. You are online again, I see. When you logged in, you probably ended up in the empty headquarters, huh? Everybody is busy with other things right now, it seems. But you can still contact everyone with direct links if you have any questions or need help. Mm -hmm. Oh, it shows that level. Thanks. Hi. What the hell is something the mother? Right, you can speak properly. So, why would you contact me? Are you by chance wondering about my nickname? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's Beowulf. You might have noticed no one. But, sir, you might have noticed nobody calls me that. I understand they find the name Cheese. I mean, it's the name of an old legendary hero. Well, it seems it's rather overused. What a shame. I probably should have gone with something simple like you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not like we really have much of a choice.
Squad you again. You should probably check on my current available quests. Huh? Oh shit, I, I actually missed a mining document. I should probably go back into the dungeon and check for that. of these things. Well, first of all, not that. Oh yeah, I don't actually know which chest it is. I can't actually. <laughs> well, I can get to that now. Probably. Maybe. Oh yeah, from there. Which I get to from... Let's defense more focus and for now. Let's 
Sí. Sí. Why did you disturb my meditation? Why? Uh, reason? This is concern, in the future. Mm. Mm. Uh, okay, that was kind of amusing. Exactly that much to get into. Mm, seriously. Yeah, nothing else here. Oh well. Nice army of giant robots, though. I wonder if that will become relevant later. Like I get the feeling it might. Okay, so that's this one we will explore. Stay not the enemies here. Okay, so I could 